Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the game I never thought we'd actually reach, especially given how long it took to complete the first one. This is Darksiders 2. The game in which a car drives past and makes a load of background noise. Thank you, roadside traffic. This, as you probably guessed, is the story of Death, War's brother, and his endeavours to, um achieve bitches. I don't know. Um, I guess you're gonna find out once you see the opening um, introduction sequence. Um, it appears that it's moved over my save game from before, so I'm just gonna start in an empty slot. Um, and of course, uh, let's see. Ho ho ho! Wait, what? I'm sorry, it has a- it has a stage above apocalyptic. It goes to definitive. An additional? Additional difficulty level? Oh, come on. Oh, we have to try this. I didn't know it went bigger. Oh, man. I'm either gonna rage out or I'm gonna have a hell of a time, and I don't know which it is. There can be no life without order. Good, evil, darkness, light. There must be balance in the universe. There must. Such mm. is the decree of the Charred Council. Yes. An ancient body charged by the Creator to preserve the very fabric of existence. But the balance has been broken. It has indeed. Even now, Earth smolders in ruin, fallen to the demon lords, and the destroyer carves a new kingdom amongst his mighty chosen. Yes. Some say the horsemen war triggered the apocalypse, that he rode to Earth unbidden and doomed. As we know from the mankind. previous game, of course. But what of the other horsemen? Fearless enforcers of the Council's will. What a fury, strife, and death. Death. To know those names, you must first know another. Nephilim. Nephilim. union of angel and mm, demon. Yes, so we get and origin the story of the horsemen themselves. Realms and burned them to ash. But four amongst them grew weary of the slaughter and feared their conquest would imperil the balance. And so a truce was made. The four would serve the council in exchange for unimaginable power. Thus were the dreaded horsemen formed. Yep. And the riders' first task was to purge their own brethren from creation, to annihilate the Nephilim and destroy their souls. Let us now cast our gaze to one amongst the four, not war who lies chained at the Council's feet, professing his innocence. But one who would save his brother, above all else. He has many names. Kinslayer, Executioner, Death. <laughs> and so it begins. Darksiders 2, and we're straight in with either a cutscene or something else, perhaps. Oh, hello. A bargain for war's freedom. Death swore that he would resurrect humanity. <laughs> it's a big task. But, but we've seen what the horsemen can do. Dark. Yeah. So, you, what do you and Google it? Death rode forth into the icy veil. Find the keeper. The keeper of secrets, whose name was Google. <laughs> <laughs> or any other competing browser, if you only want to complain about that. Death himself. Hello there. If it isn't the fucking anemic looking John Wick esque character himself upon his horse. Oh man! And we're straight into the game. Check that out! How do you like them apples, huh? Oh, they thought of this! They thought I might try to go backwards! <laughs> I've, I'm pleasantly surprised. That's very amusing. Hmm. I think we're supposed to follow the crow. Of course, we can summon and banish the horse using L1 and R1, just as before, only, uh, only this time we're playing as death himself. Who um uses a pair of twin sides, if you hadn't guessed already from the fact that he's uh using his twin sides. 
<laughs> right on we shall and um, investigate the path ahead. Saps stamina. Yes, it most certainly does. Same as charging with um, ruin as well, only this time it's despair. Look at this mighty steed. A little decayed, maybe his leg will fall off in, in mid-journey, but you know, it, it, it's insured. Run directly towards a wall and jump to climb the wall. Oh yeah, death's um, parkour is much more advanced than wars are bad. Oh hello. Oh! What's this? Time, uh, to un avoid incoming damage. We have numbers? Not only do we have numbers, we have health bars. Who would have thought? I've just found a piece of equipment. Oh, have I now? Right now, if we've dispensed with these fools, apparently we have a piece of gear we can equip. So, uh, where is it? Is it in the middle touchpad? No, that's once again. Once again, it's the other way round. Once again, it's the pause menu is uh, the thing. So, what do we have here? We have scythes, uh, damage 23 to 27, so we actually have damage statistics now rather than uh, just any old shite. And we also apparently have some new gloves to wear, and uh, apparently we've got a set of greaves as well. Death has a skill tree now, War never had a skill tree, <laughs> and uh, these are each built up to many different abilities that I'm sure we'll get a plenty of a chance to look at later. Fuck! And then apparently... Woo! Razor kick! Here you do it. A cartwheel! Um, we only get one jump with death, so better make it count. And then of course there's... We get a triple evade. We get three evades, as opposed to one very stiff evade. Very funky. And if we are currently in the Vale, and we're looking for the Keeper of Secrets. Where do we find the Keeper of Secrets? I don't like doors that move on their own make me very nervous. Ooh! Move towards a wall and jump at an angle. Do shit. Hello there. Come here, you pet. There is! There is a thing. He uses his reaper arms to break things open, and I presume I just picked up something. Ah! Health potions. Right, okay. So it's more parkour segments. Press X to hang. Well, next door wall, did that say? I think that was that. Uh, hello! Ah, you can traverse wooden beams in the environment. Press X to jump towards the beam to grab on. Oop. Who's that cackling? Mysterious cackling does not give me a... Uh, oh, wait, what was that? Ah, press and hold L2 to lean away from a vertical beam. You! I didn't even see the old man at the end of the corridor. The fuck? It kind of freaked me out. Bellin! Tell me where Giggles is. Tell me where the fuck Mr. Giggles is. I found a secondary weapon, did I? What did I find? I found an axe. Isn't that fucking tremendous? Let's see what the axe looks like. Um... So enormous you can barely fit it in frame. This is a comically large secondary weapon. Ho 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 ho! Look at this shit! A wampus! Wampus! Chunkus! Fucking hell. And we get power attacks. Oh! Run towards vines and press X to jump and climb. There we go. It kind of rhymes. There he is! So the crow works for him? <laughs> Sick laughter. The fact that that had to be subtitled is hilarious. Oh, what you probably also notice about this game is that um, there is a potion system. Like uh, instead of instead of life stones, you physically have to rely on the consumables. Probably because things look too easy otherwise. Um, well, I guess we got our first boss or mini boss or whatever you want to call this thing. Ice Giant. Well, that's fucking horrifying. Nice. 
nice. So that's it. Is that he done? No, he's not done. Where is he? Oh, now he is. There we go. Gotcha, you bastard. He must have had one HP. Damn. Ice giant slaying. So I got some money out of that. Very nice indeed. You can extend wall runs by uh, hopping off pillars like that. Mm -hmm. And now we're in some kind of epic gamer house. Um, so now we do a thing. I pushed in a switch. What has this done, eh? Who is that? Who is that statue? Fucking Captain Anus face. That's what I thought I saw. With a crow skull. Kind of looks like Death's Mask, to be honest. People often confuse the Plague Doctor for the Grim Reaper, I think. What's this? Oh, wall running! You can jump from wall to wall and then do this... Lego Man-esque little parkour maneuver there. Stop fucking giggling! Why? Why is? Why does this matter to you, Plum? I don't know why he gets so fucking high off of this shit. Leave this place! Why are you telling me to bugger off? You're so happy I'm here. Why? Are you... Well, do it for the mystery, I guess. Um. Jump to a new beam and then hop. Yeah, the parkour is much more intense in this game. Loads more obstacles, puzzles and other shit is going to include parkour in it. So basically what they did is they went, um, yeah, let's get Thor's hammer and let's make it super sized or let's put a giant block of concrete on the end of a mallet. Fuck. You do not want to be on the other end of that. Imagine getting your balls stuck underneath that thing. Well, let's just say that if you have any nails that need um, hammering in... Um, I've got the weapon for you. This looks somewhat penultimate. Or ultimate, I should say. I, I take it this is where the secret, uh, secret of keepers... Yeah, whatever. Voices? The old guy was fucking tormenting us. I need your help. I helped you once before, horseman. Hmm. Look at me now. Look at you now? You probably look the same. I don't know. Never met you before. Father. I'm not here to put you out of your misery. Not yet. I know why you've come. Your brother, the one called War. He's been imprisoned by the Child Council yep. and awaits their judgment. Yep. For dooming the earth. For mankind's extinction. Mm -hmm. Why should I care about your brother's fate? Because he didn't do it. Because you know the truth. Ha! Ah. <laughs> your secrets can save him. <laughs> the council will condemn war. Strip him of power, let him rot in oblivion. To hide the truth. My secrets cannot prove his innocence, horsemen. No, but they can help me to erase the crime. Bring mankind back from extinction. <laughs> Madness. It's a hell of an endeavor. Yeah, it's madness. And who better to show me the way? <laughs> Should a way exist? Cocky bastard. You will find it here. The tree, the tree of, of shit. Life. Tree of life, tree of knowledge. Probably a tree of death Let as well. Pass. Not yet. That which you gave me, you will take it back. Hmm. In exchange for its secrets, you agreed to keep the amulet. Yeah, but he doesn't no. want it anymore, clearly. The voices, they curse and threaten without end. They cry to return. You must destroy it. Yeah, do your fucking job. I cannot. You annihilated their flesh. Why do you guard their souls? Yeah, that's the souls of the entire Nephilim, in case you hadn't guessed. Oh, now he's going to threaten him with death. While I live. Well, so fuck. Be it. Ow. Here your brethren are trapped in eternal torment. Yep. Do you wish to join them? No. And what of war? Would you kill your brother to save your precious balance? Well, that's not how this is supposed innocent. to work. Are you so certain? Foxy wizarding his way up. 
Uh, excuse me? Excuse me? No fucking way. We've got a fight war. I feel like this is not going to end well. Ow! Fuck! Ow! I need some cliff! Oh, what's he doing? Oh, don't go Chaos Form. Whatever you do, do not go Chaos Form. Oh, fuck, we've got to... Shoot. Did I get him? I did. Where's he going? Oh, no, he's back. Come on, I'll be courteous. Take, take your time. Another Clash of Blades. Which point do I have to spam now? Oh, none of them. Shit. But it just goes to prove how talented in combat both of these men are. I mean, of course, it wasn't the real war. It was more like a facsimile of him. But, um... But still... What a fucking introductory boss fight is that? Oh! Fuck! That fucking looks like it! <laughs> I didn't realize it was gonna... Open the portal! Open the fucking portal, Grandad! Your secrets die with you, old fool. Shit. Ah, uh, that's a problem. Ancient souls of the Nephilim are now all embedded in his chest. That can't be healthy for you. Fuck! The fuck's it taken us to the Tree of Life? Apparently, but uh... worlds of our universe swirl in an endless abyss. Okay. Many worlds ravaged by time or conflict are Ooh. swallowed by the abyss, returned to the nothingness from Ow, which sorry. they were formed. But others linger for eternity on the brink of annihilation, that creation might be balanced with destruction. Hmm. And in the final moment of battle, oh, is that why he called himself the Destroyer? To one such world in the autumn of its life. Yet not far from the edge of darkness. Had death been sent to his doom, that answer would be found in the horseman's future and in his past. Very cryptic. Oh, hello! Who's this? Be still, horseman. You are wounded. Evidently. Don't touch me. <laughs> Get the fuck away! Is a bad omen. Yes. Troubles me greatly. Old one. Who are you then? More Old one. Hmm. Old things, people. Where's the tree of life. Life. <laughs> this world is dying, lad. Choking on chaos and corruption. We can do little to stop it. Soon, great. The great tree too shall perish, and with it, the last of my people. Is that not what brought you here, Pale Rider? Ah, uh, actually, randomness. <laughs> chaos and corruption don't concern me. Ah, uh, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Oh, hello. <laughs> it seems that they do concern you. Oh, so whenever he does that move like that, you see those symbols, ruins, and that. They're charging for a special attack. Fuck. Am I going somewhere? <laughs> Apparently. Yoink. Did I get him? You fight well, Apparently I did. But this corruption can't be beaten with a blade. Oh really? Oh, that's a shame. The Forge Sister. The Forge Sister. Ask her 
about the fire of the mountain. Okay. Help her, <laughs> and she will help you reach the tree. As Grand. for me, I must return to my work. Dialogue options! Whoa! So let's start with who are you? And who are you to command a rider? I am a maker. Older than even the Chard Council. Fuck. These hands Dudes have laid the old. for many worlds. Mm. But that was long ago. And now they but hardly know the touch of stone. Your hands do look pretty fucking haggard, I will admit. So the Tree of Life, what's all this about? Are you not curious as to why I seek I still tree? didn't get your name, I Gandalf. I to question one of the four, but yes, tell me. I must restore humanity to redeem war. <laughs> Heaven and He's hell gonna laugh at me as well, isn't he? Upon the shattered earth, all creation trembles, and at the center of it all stands your brother. He is innocent. I never said he wasn't. The hmm. tree holds power over life. You know, if so many people know war's you innocent. You resurrect humanity, then you are headed in the right direction. Very Be good. warned. A dark presence dwells now within the tree, and the path is barred by corruption. Eh. Hey. So I've not got to find the tree, I've got to cleanse it as well. And I need to find Alia? Farewell, or now. I leveled up! Fucking A! Hey. Skill point awarded. So I get to invest these into my skill tree, I do believe. I do believe, indeed. So we have the Harbinger and Necromancer skill trees. Um, Corpse Explosion! <laughs> He's literally, literally messaging me in my recording session. That's, that's marvellous. Um, hi, Joe. Yeah, so as you probably noticed, gold is the currency of this game over souls from last time. Another hammer. Onwards we travel. Through this place um, to access context sensitive information and to view map and quest points yeah um oh okay so this isn't quite ah so you can toggle the overworld map that's it so this is a map of the whole overworld where we get to travel to each one of these places including the tree of life at the very end there's like a whirlpool over there fucking christ there's the nook <laughs> the nook is, is that Tom Nook? Is this where Tom Nook lives? I Adventuring through the wonderful landscapes before us. Ding ding dong ding 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 dong. Oh my goodness. Would you look at the size of that thing? That looks enormous. Hello! Where can I find kid named Finger? Tristone. This is Tristone. Oh cool. Very cool indeed. We've got someone over there. I presume that's Alia. Um, and we have fucking Mr. Muscle. Hello! Who are you? The Reaper. It's about time you came. You've been expecting me? The Reapers are dying, and our realm. We few are all that remain. Spectacular. Oh, life is never easy, old one. Hmm. Aye, not easy, but simple. I always saw my end with blade in hand. A field of enemy dead before me. And what glorious end awaits you hiding behind these gates? Uh, you cannot fight corruption, nor can you harm it. You can only kill those it has claimed. Well, that's a Every problem. Every blow I strike against corruption is a blow against my own people. Muse on that, Ryder, before you mark me as a coward. How? Why would I do that? I just, I pick the first biggest Ulfane esque turd waffle and go, yeah, sure, I want to fight you to the death. Let's go with train. Harvester Revenge is free? Very nice. Um, press square during forward evade. Very nice. His name's Thane, as opposed to Ulfane. Sorry, you can't see what his name is because my uh, face cam is in the way, but um, his name's Thane, in case you really needed that information. Gravel Wizard! <laughs> <laughs> Gravel Wizard. <laughs> These names are great. God Fist. Oh, that looks great. Just. Whoa! I can try it out for most definitely. And then this is, uh. Tristone. Assuming it represents these three different large stony things. Um, fuck knows what they do. 
Um, uh, the quest direction says to go that way, so naturally I'm going to go this way. You can make me an Armageddon spoon. Uh, I asked Orphane for one, but uh, he never got back to me on that. Who are you? Squeeze me. We've been awaiting your arrival, Horseman. Your shadow has long hovered over this realm. Many know the Reaper, old one, but I don't know you. We are the builders of this world. The builders? But corruption seethes at its heart and destroys in days what we shaped over eons. Adar does his best to soothe our pain, but our souls yearn for only one comfort. Death. I've got two we big are comforts. Without hope. But uh, that's, uh, that's besides the point. Um, changing fate. What is all of this? I can either buy talismans and potions from, uh... <laughs> um, what are you... What are... <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Straight up, what are you doing right you now? despair, old one. And yet, raise life from the earth. What's this? I am a shaman, bound to this task even as our days darken. We are as the vines, coming to root, then to flower, and then to decay, dropping seeds upon the dust. A right. circle everlasting. I cannot stop it. Nor can I stop you. That was probably the least descriptive description of what you were doing you could have possibly given me, but okay. What about the tree? What about Shaman. it? What is corruption? What is it? I only know what I fear it to be. Okay. That corruption is hate given life. Ugh. And that hate does not come from trees or stones. So it's Twitter, but basically. Ourselves. I've got to fight Twitter. Great. Uh, Shaman, tell me what you see with your powers the of mind. The brother troubles you. It is your past. I didn't even have to ask the question. Future. Wait, what's this? Pauldron of the Horseman. Okay. Isn't this... That's one of War's pauldrons, Stone, isn't it? Stone, wood, iron. These are the gifts of the makers. I asked about the tree already, so let's ask about changing fate. Horseman, do you ever doubt your future? Mm, continuously. No. Oh. So one like yourself would set out to change a fate that displeases him. That is a long and dangerous path, even for Death himself. Yeah, and was that your they made a whole game out of it. Only that I am skilled at crafting talismans. Uh -huh. If you gather the proper materials and return them to me, I'll make a potent talisman to aid you on your journey. What do you require? Stalker's bone. More than do Stalk and not carve stalkers, and stone. not stalkers. It is not a simple charm. Where can I find them? Carve and stone Somewhere is simple, probably on the floor. Lands. I rarely leave Tristone, but that pup Khan is always out exploring. He can tell you more, no doubt. Ah, so to begin with my fetch quest, I need to fetch the giver of the quest. <laughs> you! I have business with you. I presume you are the Forge sister? Maker's beard. The rumors are true. Hello, Merida. A horseman in the Forge Lands. The name's Alia. Apparently, and that's this my was all Valis. prophesied. We are the keepers of this forge. Alia and Valis. Though I reckon that means less now than once it did. This is a Maker's Forge. Oh, Maker's Nay, Forge. The Maker's Forge is lost to oh. us. Silence oh. Silenced by the hands of corruption. Oh. In its depths, we once crafted the dark towers of hell and the cities of. Oh heaven. wow! Now you make trinkets. And, and you, one of the four, now seek the aid of the makers. It's like a, a well I back here, then. Fallen from high places. Arcania seeking the tree, and your elder speaks of fire. What is it? Aye, the fire of the mountain, the Stone Father's blood. It once flowed into our forge, as did the tears. Both imbued our craft with incredible power, the heart and the soul of stone. Magnificent. But corruption has taken them, and now our forge is silent. Ah, oh, bugger. Why does this concern me? The way to the tree is lost, barred by corruption. You can no more leave this place than we. Restore right, okay. Our forge, and the tree can be reached. So we help them to help ourselves. Your reasoning. Ah, yeah. We are it's makers, kind of the same. Not warriors. But we are not without our weapons. Some of you Before are warriors. Before the forge was lost, we crafted a mighty creature of soul and stone. A colossus to fight this corruption. But to awaken him requires a maker's key. And we need our forge to craft one. Will you help us? I guess. I mean, I'm in the area. What's the cauldron? Uh, your store? Uh, let's, let's do that. I may have need of a blade. Yeah. Is your need greater than ours, horseman? I think not. We fight for the survival of our realm and our kin. You're not gonna sell me awesome weapons? You have any idea where stone? 
The Stone Father is the volcano? And then they funnel the lava in to make their forge hot? That is dope as fuck pro So now I suppose we've got to venture outwards and find out where this cauldron thingy is. We've got to talk to Thane first, apparently. Hello, Thane. Long time or very short time, no see. Ah. Uh, yoink. Hello, can you let me through? Horseman, you'll find not that way, but trouble. Do what you must for your kin, old one. For mine, I ride to the cauldron. Yep. Well, if you fancy your corruption waist deep, that's as <laughs> yeah. good a place as any. Let's you know, fight this corruption! <laughs> and if you were a friend, I wouldn't have let you pass. But then, <laughs> who is friend to death? What we got this way then, laddie? Yeah! What in the piss is that? Hello, Sauron! Fuck! That's, that's not fucking horrifying at all, is it? I presume, oh. That's literally the path to the Tree of Life. And that thing is blocking it. So I can see Despair is ready for you, so let's, um... Let's have a little ride around here, huh? The Weeping Crag. Well, that sounds horrible. So I presume we just ride on through here, right? Even though it does look like this is a whole little dungeon. And then we found some more gear, I do believe. Um. Oh, hello. We have some green items, which uh, have an additional stat. So you'll notice base items don't have any stats on them whatsoever. It's just defense. Um, but green items have, yeah, an additional stat. I think blue items have two. Purples have as many as purples please, which I think is three. I don't know if there are, like, orange items to represent maximum kind of rare ability. Ah, ha, ha, speaking of the uh, blue ones, arcane critical damage and resistance. Hmm, fascinating. However, this little symbol up here does certainly intrigue me. What is all of this business then, hmm? Volgrim! Hello there, friend. Greetings, horseman. Ha <laughs> ha! Welcome. Good to see I've you again. Been expecting you. Volgrim. What brings you crawling out of the shadows? <laughs> I wouldn't want to lose my most valuable customer. That's war, I presume. Not to what lurks at the edge of shit. Or are they good friends before, anyway? So here that's, I am. That's probably why Volgrim sold him aside. Do you know that I don't? I'm not here by choice, demon. I merely followed the trail of carnage. Your blades are as sharp as ever. Even still, I may be able to help you. That's with the boatman coins? I carry things others would. Oh, there you go. Those are the things I like the best. Go on. Take a look. You won't be disappointed. As long as there's no children in your basement, I yeah, sure, let's no go items, with it. If you have the so, Volgrim is the guy we can uh, respec our, our skill tree with. Legacy artifact. And then, of course, we have um, loot boxes. Oh, yes, that's right. Um, technically, the most powerful weapon is the possessed weapon. Uh, the legacy box at the top. Boatman coins apparently contribute to these things. Um, we can sell other items, I do believe. Ah, I've almost got fucking set on fire! So apparently the volcano is raining down fire on us now, is it? Grand. Grandioso. Tears of flame from the Stone Father himself. Be crying when I fucking punch the shit out of that mountain. Right, this be the cauldron then, eh? Oh, hello. Who are you? Ow, I've been struck. That's assault! I 
taken a wee bit of health damage there. Well, where else can you take damage? Hello. You look closer to actual Shrek. Not another one. You're the Nephilim. The one they call Death. How did you get here? Took a wrong turn. It appears I'm stranded here with the rest of you. If you seek the cauldron, you should know that it fell to corruption fair long ago. I can still feel the fire itself. I can feel it right now! I'll take my chances. What do you mean your shaman's craft? Um, oh! Talking about the um, side quest that she was about to give us. So who are you first? You're different than the others. Less pleasant on the eyes for one. <laughs> Jesus! No less for you. Folks around town call me Pup or Lad. But I prefer my own name. Khan. Pup it is then. <laughs> As you will. Matters not to me. Fire of the mountain, that's that's something, I Why guess. Not restore the fire yourself. Yeah, why not you get it? Just for that purpose. Figured I'd pop the cork, so to speak. Be the hero. Right. But the cauldron is locked up well and tight, and the way through is swallowed by fire. Good. You're capable enough. Perhaps you can find a way. <laughs> I came here to do this thing, gun but I've uh, decided I don't really want to anymore, so you do it. Uh, so let's Your ask about the craft. Has offered me a talisman if I bring her the materials. Hmm. You'd be wise to accept then. Her craft is mighty powerful. You didn't get find Stalker's bow. There we go. You'll find Stalker's prowling the cauldron. Should be simple work if your name is any indication. <laughs> Stalkers are not particularly simple creatures. Uh, a favor? What's all this about? See, if you're headed in there, you mind doing something for me? Ooh, hello. Yes, I mind. Aren't I doing enough already? <laughs> Perhaps. Though it seems to me you're doing right enough for yourself. Errand boy, Our much? Benefit being a fortunate side effect. Well, if it ain't much trouble, I, I left an old metal platter in there. With the image of two hammers. You're sending me in for a dish! Not much to look at, but uh, it was my journeyman piece. Last thing I ever forged. A dish. Oh. You want me to bring you a dish? <laughs> yes. Well, it has <laughs> sentimental value. If you find it, I'll make it worth your while. You better pay me a couple grand, mate. I'm not really in the mood for messing around here. You get what I'm saying? I mean, no reason I couldn't have done that. Nice hammer. I mean, the hammer's nice. The hammer's great. But it's the end of the video. So you're not going to see any more until the next episode, which I will bring out very soon. I need some more recording to do. But I'll return next time to finish this little cauldron challenge and probably do the Tears of the Mountain as well. Probably in the same episode, being as I can edit out most of the horse riding. Even though the horse riding is a wonderful element of Darksiders 2, I will admit. It's one of my favourite parts. But thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Vertigo Vibes, signing off.